In this video, we examine a peer-reviewed case study of a man who used multiple integrative treatment options to achieve a remarkable survival benefit in glioblastoma. As always, these ideas are discussed in more depth in the book Cancer Self-Defense 101, Quick Tips to Help You Survive. All citations for studies quoted in this video can be found in the book's bibliography at cancerselfdefense101.com. This video is intended as information, not medical advice. It is not intended to treat, diagnose, or cure any disease. Any medical advice should come from an appropriately credentialed medical professional familiar with your unique circumstances. In February 2016, a 38-year-old man was diagnosed with glioblastoma. At the time of his diagnosis, he consumed about 2,250 to 2,500 calories a day. Soon after his diagnosis, along with the help of some doctors who had an interest in the ketogenic diet, he embarked on a high-fat, calorie-restricted ketogenic diet, along with a few supplements and off-label pharmaceuticals. The man underwent a 72-hour water-only fast to induce ketosis. After his fast, he adhered to a high-fat, 4-1, ketogenic diet for 21 days. He only consumed 900 calories per day during these 21 days. The calories came from 71 grams of fat, 639 calories, as 33% olive or flaxseed oils, 33% MCT oil, and 33% as organic butter. He also consumed 50 grams a day, 200 calories, as protein, that is poultry, fish, eggs, with no more than 15% dairy, and 15 grams, 40 calories, of carbs in a day, mainly from green leafy vegetables, and 20 grams, 10 calories, of fiber. The source of this fiber is not specified, but psyllium husk has a very favorable profile among fibers as it contains both soluble and insoluble fiber. The man also received B-complex vitamins, minerals, calcium, magnesium, and omega-3 fatty acids to maintain nutrient levels. He had been deficient in vitamin D3 and supplemented 5,000 IUs per day. He had the MTHHFAR gene mutation, which suggested a folate deficiency and was supplemented with 1,000 milligrams per day of methylfolate. About 40% of the American population has this mutation. Generally speaking, methylfolate is a good addition to any keto diet. Lastly, he also received the medications Kepra, 1,500 milligrams per day, for preventative seizure control and metformin. 1,000 milligrams per day. Metformin is primarily used for glucose control, but it also has a host of other anti-cancer effects, which are profiled in another video. 21 days after initiation of the ketogenic diet, he underwent a surgical debulking of his tumor. The surgery was subtotal, meaning it removed between 50 to 90% of the tumor. The vascularity of the tumor had decreased, a positive response to the ketogenic diet. Additionally, no corticosteroids were prescribed to him during the recovery process. In fact, no corticosteroids were prescribed to him at all during his entire 24-month treatment period covered in the study. This is very rare. He was discharged from the hospital two days after surgery and exhibited no negative side effects. After his surgery, he continued with his same diet, but added a time-restricted component to it. He would fast for 14 hours between his breakfast and dinner, meaning he was only eating within a small window of time. Additionally, he supplemented with EGCG, 400 per day, an extract from green tea, which can help prevent cancer from using glutamine, and was prescribed 150 milligrams per day of chloroquine to inhibit autophagy. Autophagy is a very complicated double-edged sword in cancer treatment. In this case, the fear of the attending physician was that autophagy would recycle cellular proteins and other molecules to help the cancer survive. 
Two weeks post-operation, he began hyperbaric oxygen therapy five times a week, 60 minutes each time, at a pressure of 2.5 atm. He then continued on the same regimen and added standard of care treatment. The brain tumor drug, temozolomide, 75 milligrams per day for 42 days and with 30 rounds of brain radiation. He showed no negative side effects from the radiation. He also converted to a higher calorie, 1 1500 per day, high fat, ketogenic diet. Post-surgery, his tumor has shown shrinkage of 1.5 centimeters in each diameter, post-operation, and low metabolic activity. These MRI scans taken from two different perspectives, the top row is looking down at the brain, while the second row was taken at eye level, show a dramatic shrinkage of the tumor and edema over the course of 20 months. In the top row up to nine months, you can see tremendous midline shift, meaning that the swelling on one side of the brain is literally pushing the other side of the brain into the skull. At 15 and 20 months, there is a dramatic decrease in midline shift with the brain almost normalizing. This man's case was very rare. Unfortunately, glioblastoma normally unerringly progresses. Not in this case, it has regressed. Again, the combination of simple, non-toxic strategies can have incredible results when combined with the standard of care, and even in some instances, in the place of standard of care. For more information on science-based integrative treatments for cancer, see the book Cancer Self-Defense 101, Quick Tips to Help You Survive.